Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, um, welcome to our post-commentary coverage of the Dawn and Dusk Towers for Pandora's Tower. We're doing it this way because the North American version has some stupid-ass glitch that can make your whole console freeze. And it has happened to us when trying to do it, like, not this way. Yep, what a pain in the butt. Um, this is also multiple recordings kind of stitched together. This first recording has these, like, weird red pixels that come in. I have no idea why this happened. But none of the other recordings are like that. It, it, it's very bizarre. Hmm. But, yeah, um, I start out, I just go to my trunk, I'm like... Okay, first order of business. Let's not run out of limited item space. <laughs> Especially since items are going to be very important in this upcoming... In these upcoming... In this, these upcoming dungeons. Okay. <laughs> well, that's because the Dawn and Dust Tower have... They're... they're, 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 they're I mean, I got up to this point at... Uh, during our live record, you know, when I was play when we were reacting to it as I was doing it, and how, like, you know, there's the, um, old dark world and light world thing with the towers. Mm-hmm. I am recording my end with a brand new microphone I got for 20 bucks at Ollie's. <laughs> uh... Uh, Good there stuff. is no game switch on this, but uh, I, I don't think you personally need one. Anyways, I'm I'm going ahead and equipping the far sight band because you know that thing where you hold down the B button with the uh, aiming cursor and it like zooms in. Uh, yeah. That allows you to. I've mentioned this before, but that allows you to see items that you normally can't see on the field. Hmm. And, um, the Farsight Band makes it so that you can see those items normally without having to do that. Wow. And that's very useful for this upcoming... And, uh, by the way, this first video recording that's kind of stitched together in these is mm -hmm. very short because I copied my file. This is a... This is my first time going to this tower in this file... My first time going to either of these towers in this specific file, right? Mm-hmm. Crash. Oh, gosh. What? So, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I reloaded my, I reloaded the save file, and I just cut to when this started. Huh. Yeah, because I, because I had to... Reor well, I didn't have to reorganize my items and shit because, you know. But, um, I did have to go back over and run over the chains again, so I just cut to this. Huh. And I don't know why I didn't examine the statue, um, or that door. That door is locked, by the way, as you'll soon see. Right. But, uh, you know, grab the Liots, do 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 do. And this room normally spawns two enemies, but for whatever reason, only one enemy spawned in here. Now, we... from our previous recording, from one of our previous attempts at recording this, I have a fight up in the corner there where you can see that normally two guys will spawn in here. But right. for whatever reason, only one dude has spawned in here. <laughs> no idea why. Wow. And, uh, this dude is in that, like, sort of pseudo-devil-trigger-like state. Or at least, that's what I compare it to, because it reminds me of Devil May Cry, and... It, I would be surprised if that wasn't the intention by the developers, or... Maybe not... intention is not the right word, but, you know... Mm -hmm. Influence. Inspiration. Yeah. And thankfully, I got a pulsating flesh from him, because that's what I wanted. <laughs> Thank goodness. With two enemies. And 
I'm about to leave, and I'm like, oh, right, I haven't examined the statue or checked the door to show what I wanted to show. <laughs> I almost forgot that I was recording, to be perfectly honest. I started playing this like I was playing it normally. It can't, I can't open it, it's blocked from the other side, blah, blah, blah. Well, it was your first time recording it on your own, right? I mean... Uh, it appears to be an Iosian goddess. She bears chains and her wings symbolize darkness. And there's some weird static coming over your end all of a sudden. Oh, that's strange. Well, it's not going to get on my recording because I'm talking on my tablet and I'm recording on something else. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's go to the observatory. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that static is. I, I, that better not come through. Well, even if it does, I can just be like, anytime you're not talking, just like, <laughs> on yeah, that down. If you were to look at my audacity right now, it is clean. This might get oh. picking up any noise at all. Is it simple? <laughs> What's the matter, Aaron? Is everything all right? Of course. If I become and then I, from the other you know, world, I chat with Elena. Aaron, you're always putting me first. I don't think she says anything I new how my here. Do. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, um, we need to reset that timer. Eat some meat. Oh. Eat some meat. <laughs> I I show this cutscene once, just because. I, I kind of make a point to always show her eating flesh at least once in a recording, but... So if someone is just dropping in on this specific episode for some reason and skipped everything else? You're, uh, you're... Well, I think it's also because her reactions change subtly. I, I, was, I was about to go out to the towers and I was like, wait a minute. Hold up a second. Let me check something. And so I save again so I can quit the game. You know what? The static sounds like, like, most like a weird rain outside your window or something. Or not oh. rain, like someone taking a shower. Huh. That's really strange. Which is very weird, because I know the shower is nowhere near your room. <laughs> <laughs> it rained yesterday, but not raining right now. I, I know. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, I quit the I quit out the game, I load it back up. And I try to go to the Dawn Tower, and guess what? What? Spoilers! It actually worked. Whoa! What a twist! Now, I don't know if it was the saving and quitting and reloading that circumvented it, or what. I also skipped the uh, Aaron running across the chains. And, yeah, it's... It's all the same recording, no crash. And it skips. When you do that, if you've seen the Dusk Tower intro cutscene, it'll skip that. But I still had this Dawn Tower intro cutscene from when we were still trying to um, record it normally. So I just threw that in there. But I chose to throw it in a little bit later just to show that, yeah, it'll skip it. Hmm. Here's to be one of the gods of Iosi Bears. Chains in his wings symbolize light. Light. This way is a bit of a dead end, but there are keyoings and other stoops I can get. Now, when I was in the Dusk Tower, you saw me pick up a Shade Stone. That is incredibly important. There are Shade Stones and Light Stones, as well as stronger versions called Stygian Stones and Luminous Stones. Hmm. Their importance will become, well, important. I fucking hate these little assholes. I die more to these things than any other enemy in the frickin' game. Wow. Especially when they just swarm you. Got Mercury! Twice! Sailor Mercury! I have no idea why that came into my head. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. 
I don't even. I never even watched that show. But anyways, yeah, you have to go to the Dawn Tower. You have lost your claw privileges. <laughs> I tried to get rid of. You can't. You'll see me constantly trying to get rid of like the knives on their arms, but that doesn't actually work. Hmm. You can only get rid of the big claws. And the military scythe, even though it still has a few upgrades left to go, is an insanely strong weapon, as will be demonstrated. It does make you move slower, so if you're trying to speedrun this tower, uh, it's not really the best option. If, And I'm also being like extremely thorough with this tower as well, but if you're worried about the console crashing glitch... Then the YouTuber, the Fado96, I wanted to say 69 for some reason, but no, it's 96, <laughs> um, has a video, I believe it's unlisted, I'll, I'll ask him if I, I'll ask if I can put a link to that video, and that was me walking past an item thing for some reason, I guess I didn't see it at the so, time of recording, so it's, it's weird looking back on this in post and being like, oh, oh, I just fucked up there. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you were about to say something? Um, yeah, so did you say you beat this game before? The whole mm -hmm. Let's Play started? Yeah. And I, you did I, experience the glitch? Um, I've never tried doing these towers in one sitting. Oh. And, and like going out and coming back in like I'm doing with the Let's Play. Right. That would make sense. Saying? Some people have experienced that after, like, even uh, what just happened? How did I get here? This is not my beautiful temple. How did, <laughs> how did he get here? <laughs> A black light vortexes. In addition to their form, the dawn and dusk towers share many features. One is the vortex, created by the power flowing from both of the towers. These vortexes connect the two towers. Enter one such vortex and one will be transported from one tower to the other in the blink of an eye. Explanation! The towers also ha each have the stones, which are the physical manifestation of the energy in each tower. Were one to destroy either the light stone or its twin, the shade stone, one would release all of it, all of this energy. Hmm. These towers contain a variety of extraordinary things unseen in the other towers. Utilized wisely, they will prove to be valuable weapons in our arsenal. By the way, I actually read all. I actually read these out loud while I was doing this, just to be like, this is the amount of time it takes me to read this out loud. Right. Because I can read a lot faster in my head <laughs> than I can speaking out loud. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, I have really bad luck trying to find light stones during this run. I find, like, an abundance of shade stones, and I find a few luminous stones, but the game is just like, no, can't have light stones. No. <laughs> I That's have no idea why. I mean, I get what I need to get through here. It's just... Well, it's like you said, it's a pain. Also, these towers have eight chains. Four per tower. However, that's not as bad as you would think, because most of the... Like, about six out of eight times... I can say, quite literally, there are portals nearby each chain, so, and the chains are in the same places for both towers. So basically, you find one chain, you pretty much knock two off the list. Huh. And remember how, like, the true gold tower was our first foray into four chains, but because the tower isn't that much bigger than other towers, 
it's not like it really took that much longer. In fact, it, al it almost made it easier to navigate because you constantly had the chains throughout the tower as like a waypoint marker. Yeah. I, I think the fire towers are like the hardest towers navigation wise just because those damn giant boiler rooms with the lava. Oh yeah, man, that place gave you I, some trouble. I don't know why. It I either it's something about the camera angles or something, or maybe I'm I'm just really bad at them. Probably I'm just really bad at them, but for whatever reason they always give me the most trouble. Then I break that open. That was that locked door from the dust tower from the starting area. Uh-huh. Where I went to check the door and he's like, it won't open, it's barred from the other side. That that was the other side. And this is the top of the area. This is that room where I fought the one dude for the pulsating flesh and got the shade stone. Dude. I, I might consider getting a, a cover for the AKG. This thing, it like cuts down on noise so much. It's amazing. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like, hey, we could just remove the noise removal process. <laughs> or at least remove those weird noise spikes that seem to happen where it's like, the noise is little, the noise is little, and then it's all of a sudden... <sighs> I can't I can't wait to try this thing out for Pokemon Go. This is gonna be really useful for cutting down on noise when we're driving. Hmm. I can imagine. It's like I see this sitting there in all these twenty bucks, I'm like, well you are mine now. <laughs> it's like yoink, just like I yoinked that dripping flesh right off of that guy. Yeah. That's one thing about the, uh, annoyed me about the AKG was anytime you move it, well, your gain settings are gone. <laughs> uh, that is my biggest problem with that microphone. Well, now we're going to try to keep it in the same room at all times, unmoving. <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll get moved around, but... Uh, Not as much. <laughs> Could you just, like, I don't know, put a piece of duct tape on the game? Yeah, like, because at this point <laughs> like, it's not going to be moving. You don't around. move. It's not going to be moving from room to room, so... <laughs> yeah. Whoever invent, whoever made that game dial, you failed. You failed on multiple way in multiple ways. Yep. Anyways, here's the next piece of texty poo. Blacklight controls. After countless attempts, we have finally found a way to control the vortexes. The key is to use the stones of darkness and light. These stones harness the powers of light and dark, and by throwing them into the vortex, they can be controlled. For instance, should one wish to open a vortex that has been closed, one needs to take a rock which has the power matching that of the vortex and smash it over it. To close a vortex, smash a rock with the opposite power above it. Just remember that to move between the two vortexes, they both must be open. They must both be open. To ensure uninterrupted transportation between the towers, the vortexes in both must be carefully maintained. We plan to conduct around 10 more transportation tests, and once we can say with confidence that vortexes are functioning, we will let everyone know. Okay. Apparently, and I didn't even realize this, apparently this is something that a lot of people don't know, that you can close the vortexes. Like, I could smash a light stone over this one and close it. Not that I have a light stone to do that with, and I wouldn't want to do that with. The, that would be stupid. Um, there isn't much reason to do it, but there are there are reasons why you might want to. Well, uh, got a why? shade stone. Got a shade stone there, kind of where that, that shade stone spawned, sort of where that text was. Normally, you would find a shade stone out here, but um, 
There's no... They're not so lucky today. But anyways, yeah, you want the shade stones that you get from there. So that you can smash a shade stone here. And now you're definitely seeing the whole light world, dark world thing come into play. Yep. Yeah. It's like, I can't go this way in this tower, but in this tower the pathway is open, so I just transport myself here. And then... You know... I've definitely never seen this in another game before, let alone on a Nintendo system. I've definitely not seen a whole two games do that. Although, I will be honest, um, I feel like Metroid Prime 2 did a lot, did a bit more with this concept than, than A Link to the Past actually did. <laughs> Especially did more with the concept of something you did in one world affecting the other. Well, Link to the Past only did that for a single dungeon. Huh. And that was it. Uh, this game doesn't really do it, do that, though. I mean, one thing you do in one tower does not affect the structure of the other tower. Hold on, Elena. Meanwhile... Come here. Come on. <laughs> well... Do you still love me? That is one early bird. <laughs> Never doubt that. It's gonna get that worm. Oh. Yep, it's gonna off behind that worm. Did those birds just poop on my hand? <laughs> I know it's her tears, but it's just funnier to me. <laughs> Maybe because I have a very immature sense of humor, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it's just the fact that there was two droplets on her hand after two birds flew off. Mm-hmm. That one thing out there in the dust tower that I just... that I came from kind of makes me think of the... the giant falling clock tower from the beginning of Bayonetta. Wow. I don't know why, it just does. So, see? We already destroyed our first chain, and... I I'm looking around for some items. Shard of Divinity. Hit. Boom. Hit! 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 And that is two out of eight down. Nice. Now, I don't know why I go for this one on the left here. You can go straight to that one that I'm already on, and then to there, which is faster. So I have no idea why I went for the lower one first, when you can skip it entirely. Force of habit, I guess? I have no idea. <laughs> That poor guy just did not stand a chance. Nope. That chain there that you're seeing, the room where I disable that one, has like the best shortcut in the whole tower. But it's also the one that'll take you the longest amount of time to get to. Right, two guys at once. Let's go. Well, it's kind of easy when one doesn't know where I am. Like, he was swinging at me, and then he ran past me, and then he's looking around like, where did he go? <laughs> While the other one's just getting stun-locked in a corner. Wait, how did you, how did you kill him? Like, right under my nose! <laughs> This guy is not too bright. He does not seem to have <laughs> the type of situational awareness that I'm used to enemies having in action games. Mm -hmm. Got lump of metal from this normal ass enemy. Somebody, I, I brought this up before, somebody on the wiki was trying to argue that lump of metal was the tower's... Oh. 
some of this recording has times when the screen will flash very, very briefly with this, like, weird white fuzzy thing for, like, a frame. It kind of hurts the eyes, and I have no idea why that happened. There's not much I can do about it. It's a brand new enemy! Whoa! Oh no! It's pretty big. Well. So, um, here's the thing. You target their wings, they drop to the ground. I and, think... and now he can't get back up to the height that he was at. I take it back about the whole big thing. I mean, it's kind of big, but it doesn't seem to be that much bigger than any of the other large enemies. <laughs> I just um, couldn't tell. Oh no, Mark. A brand new enemy. Whatever shall I do about this? Dude, most of the time when they introduce a brand new enemy, you kick its ass super fast. <laughs> I kick its ass super fast. I like the way you said that. Thanks for the dripping flash, new guy. Umbranium. That, uh, that, you use that and enemies won't see you. can't open it. I don't even know why I went there. Uh, anytime you see a light blue door like that, and you don't see a bar across it, then that means it's going to be locked from the other side. <laughs> so it's like, I, I knew it was going to be closed. I don't know what I was doing. Speaking of my own stupidity, here's some more of it. I'm trying to examine... I go to try to examine this portal that's not taking anywhere. Uh, press the C button past me. I'm not going anywhere. Perhaps the exit isn't open. So let's use a shade stone on this part that already is open to open the part that's already open. Because I am smart. <laughs> You won't and be needing that. With that. Oh my or gosh. That. I just had a funny idea. It's like, someone what? takes the concept of this game, but turns it into a, uh... Oh, let's just say there's no monsters, and they're mostly just sexy ladies. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Wait a second, isn't that yep. what Gun is? Uh, of course you would think of that. <laughs> yeah, ow, just, ow. just make Gal Gun, but use this system. <laughs> there you go. Gal Chain. Gal Chain. <laughs> I've got you now. Level up. Health increased. Equip zone increased. Pulsating flesh. And I have no idea why I end up going this way. I sort of knew it wasn't the right one. These little dudes just have a bad habit of landing hits on me constantly. Oh my oh my gosh, get off! Yeah, that that's a get off of me moment. Yikes, I see what you mean. And then I'm like, run away, run away, run away. I felt safer fighting the big dudes. Yeah, the big dudes are much easier. Give me that shade stone, and now since I have such an abundance of shade stones, remember in the other tower, there's no bridge here. Oh yeah. So if you go through that portal, you just fall down into that area from the other tower and you have to climb back up. Huh. See? See that oh, portal? Oh yeah, there's nothing there. So that's why I use the stone to close that one portal. You can walk around it. You don't need to close it, but closing it just makes life easier. And here's another one that is already open on this side, but not open on the other side. 
so I just wasted a shade stone. But it's not going to matter for much longer, because I'm like, well, these guys aren't, like, enhanced, and then I die. Oh, wow. Of course. This tower is very stingy on checkpoints, by the way. Ugh. I hate stingy checkpoints. Well, they're like, you're at the end of the game, bitch. You ain't get... You'll get no mercy from us. Not in the gameplay or in the game itself. For functioning properly. By the way, I don't know why, but it seems like pulling the chain with the C button seems to fill the chain meter faster. I could... I could just be imagining it, though. Ooh. Rather than pulling them around with the control stick. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, those guys... They... Those enemies can be scary in groups. Because... You, you can't... Split. I'm I'm about to go over to that stupid door again. I'm like, no, wait, Mike. You you know it's close. Why are you? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. 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 A big old piece of nothing. <laughs> it's like, what's in the box? Oh, it's the main villain from the Neverending Story. So nothing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, a good one. <laughs> also, really, I mean, I kind of under Like, as a kid watching that movie, I kind of understood what they were going for, making nothing be the, the main villain. But even then, I was still like, uh... That seems... Well, I guess there's nothing to fear, then. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing to fear, but... Nothing itself. <laughs> uh, it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I love the way that they made the wait. wolf look in that one. I always thought like the wolf was kind of nothing, but it would—it it, he's just kind of a nothing servant. What do you? Who do you serve? Nothing. Oh, okay, I guess you serve no one. Exactly. So you're a free man, wolf guy thing. No, I serve the nothing. What? <laughs> so then you have no master. Okay, yeah, here I'm pulling him with the control stick because that I'm seems also slower. You know, you could do a comparison. Have you done that yet? No, I have not. Um, but the reason I'm dragging him with the control stick is because I'm trying to like fight him and explore at the same time. It's like, what's over here? Come on, friend, let's go for a walk. Oh boy, more friends to play with. What are you pointing at? And also, <laughs> bye. My finger points. My sword points. <laughs> Man, I gotta get something to eat after this. It was like... It was really weird. Like, I had a very large breakfast... And it just... I don't know. I almost thought there was something wrong with me for, for how long I wasn't hungry. It was like, what the hell? Oh, well, that's what happens when you I have... Mean, I, don't, I know I don't eat much, that's but That's what still. happens when you have large breakfasts. Is... Yeah, but even large breakfasts don't keep me full for that long. Yikes. Whatever. A weird day. By the way, once I have this guy by the wings... I was trying to use the whole throwing thing with the ch throwing things with the chain to just like throw them off the platform, but they don't let you throw these guys. Huh. They're like, well, they can fly and stuff, so you know. You know, I've been meaning to talk. And got back that level up. Hmm. Um, I, I just want to point out this is the one time where the equivalent like. This is the one time when the equivalent chain from the other tower, it's still in the same place, but there's no easy access to a portal that would get you up here from here. Yeah. Now, if you did the dark, if you did the dust tower version of this first, 
then you would have easy access to come back to this one hmm. because you could just jump down you could just jump down here go down this ladder and we'd be back to the first chain we did which has easy access to a portal <laughs> but if you're doing the light version first then it'll be a while before you get to that chain to that one's dark tower equivalent or right. dust tower Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to point that out. But yeah, uh, so I've been meaning to talk about this, and I didn't even know if I wanted to talk about it on an episode, but it doesn't really matter. So, um, one thing that I don't... I know that you watch some podcasts. I don't mm -hmm. watch too many podcasts, because honestly, most of the podcasts that I've tried to watch, I feel like I've been lied to. <laughs> like, especially the Mega64 podcast. It's, it's like, hey... Check this out. We're going to talk about this game for two minutes. Okay, let's talk about other stuff. <laughs> and it's like... Oh, there was, there was that brief uh, flash again. Oh, the, the, podcast I, the podcast I watch, um, it's like we're going to talk about this particular topic for like... Um, let's see, about three, four hours. <laughs> and then... And then we might go into another topic for about three, four hours. Might have a tangent. Um, read some super chats at the end. <laughs> but yeah, like, way too many podcasts I've tried to listen to. It's like, and they'll, like, meander into, like, really boring topics. Like, this is how I sit on it. Like, now, I expect that stuff at the beginning of a podcast as everyone's getting settled in, you know? But, like, when they go in, into that, like, a tangent... For, on stupid topics for a really long time. This is why I don't watch pod. Listen to podcasts. Oh uh, well, the one I the one I watch does meander into like kind of stupid topics from time to time, but it's almost it's almost always supported by whatever the conversation was initially. Yeah, for the most part. Like I tried to listen to. Um... Not Roger's base. It was uh, Redline Review. I tried listening to his podcast and I hated it because they were like, mm. "Hey, we're going to talk about what our opinions are on the live-action One Piece." I'm like, "Oh, that sounds fascinating. It's really long. I I'd like to listen to that." Yeah, that was a very small portion of that video, and they went into some really boring topics. And I was like, "Well, I'm done with your podcast forever." <laughs> I was I was just in the middle uh, I, well not really the middle I I'm only at the uh, when when you called me on Skype to uh, start for us to do this I was two hours and forty four minutes and eighty eight seconds into an eight hour fifty six minute and twelve second episode of this one podcast and they are like still in the middle of the thing that they advertised mm -hmm. on the tin. Yeah, it's like it, it, Mega64 drives me crazy. I like watched a couple of their podcasts and it, they did the same thing every time. Let's get, yeah, let's get you excited about this topic and then have that be a small portion of the video. Yeah, the the podcast I watch, they don't they don't typically do that. Yeah. I like Mega64. I want to hear their opinions on things. But then they go meandering all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, oh, back in that back in that room previously, you would see that there was while you were talking about that way back a while back in the video, there was a chain that you could see in the room and I like went towards it and then I walked away from it. That's because I knew which chain that was, and I'm looking at my curse meter, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to go for that chain specifically. I want to go for this upcoming chain, because this upcoming chain, once I get that, I gain access to, like, the best shortcut, which means I'll be able to um, go back to Elena, give her some pulsating flesh... And restart her timer, and then, you know, come back for the other chains, mm -hmm. and get through it very easily. So I was like, 
Okay, yeah, I know there's chains over there, but my timer's running low. I want to I want to get this shortcut first. Right. So oh, activate damn. this in the middle of this bridge and Whee! And you can see there's a text right there cuz it's glowing red. <laughs> Remember when I was up here on the light tower, in the dawn tower? Uh-huh. And I was like, it'll be a while before I get back here. Yeah, you have to do that thing with the bridge that then opens that portal that drops you down. Right. Of course, if you didn't do this in the dawn tower, you could take that ladder down. After you destroy this, you can take that ladder down, then there'll be... A thing and you can just kind of get back up here right although you would have to have activated that one ladder in the dawn tower first so eh. you got a grimy note yep there's a few unreadable old notes in this tower one of them is incredibly important, but I don't... I have no way of knowing specifically which one it is. Um, I have a, I have a guess as to where it is specifically, though, considering what it contains. Welcome huh. back, Aaron. Yeah, um, just a minute. There, you have a thing up here. Sounds in a dream. Someone's voice. The sound of a bell. The sound of the chain. The sound of a body torn to pieces. It hurts so much. Well, that can't be good. Is everything all right? Welcome back, Aaron. Uh, the white gold ring. Gold rings, especially white gold ones, are very important gifts for us Illyrians. Did you know that when you gave it to me, Aaron? I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. S sorry, I'm blushing. It's just that I'm so happy. You're very special to me, Aaron. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. <laughs> so, this is what you want me to translate? All right, leave it's it to me. It's all grimy. And then... It's dinner time! Good job avoiding her um, transforming more than eat. once. No. Yeah, and by the way, there are multiple <laughs> stages of the transformation that I haven't even shown. Yeah! There's one stage where she's, like, really monstrous and huddled down in the basement. Yikes! You've got some flesh going spare? I'll buy it off going you. Going spare? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, let me see. Not hundredly I'll oats. Pay you this Not much. Hundredly. You've done well. I got one of the meat I'm rewards. Going to throw this in as well. That actually well, ends well, up being very good it for looks me. Looks like you know. have some reading material. But I'll buy that off you if it's all right the, with you. The price she buys this, this reading kind material of for is funny. I'm prepared to pay 1950 you this much. The 50 at the what end just makes need? it for me. I have no idea why. <laughs> Choose a weapon to forge. Choose a way to forge. Choose a way to I'm, forge. I'm just seeing like what I need to upgrade weapons. You know, the, the usual shit I do whenever I Choose speak to a new way to forge. Right. Bodily fluid, sacred ashes, dark matter, sacred ashes. And I'm like, I know where I can get some of these things, but eh, for now. <laughs> Was there something else you wanted? All things in this world contain both darkness and light. The two towers that lie ahead represent dawn and dusk. Who knows what mysteries these towers conceal? 
Apparently, <laughs> apparently the mysteries are uh, Was there something crashing your console. <laughs> yeah, that's the greatest mystery. Select the item you wish to create. What creation method do you wish? To... What? Cre yeah, I was cons I was actually considering making that spirit tunic. It's a good thing I didn't in the long run. <laughs> Did you say you divided these into chapters or something? Was there something else you wanted? Um, Farewell for I now. didn't actually divide it into chapters. Well, I might do that when I put it up on YouTube, but the, the way this video ends up going, it's kind of like that almost. Huh. See what the birds have given me. Uh, crystal ore. And can you guess what I'm about to do? Well... I always want to see if, like, birds will deliver something on the roof. They never do. I don't know why I keep checking, but they never do. Yeah. And you know what else I keep checking and almost never get anything from? The basement? The basement! And guess what? It's empty. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go. It's just, it's just, it always seems like texts appear in the basement at random for whatever reasons. Gotta save. Okay, now I'm saving, and then I, this is the end of this particular recording. And the start of the next recording. <laughs> Okay, well, we could do this for another 13 minutes. Make some more progress. Okay. Then I go to the Dusk Tower. This is so weird. <laughs> We've never had to do this. <sighs> there are still two chains per tower. It reminds me how in Skyward Sword you wouldn't like be noticing the whole this is this item and this is this item over and over again because you wouldn't you know be quitting as much but this is like way more yeah. annoying. Hmm. <laughs> Does it just outright stop your progress? Kind of an interesting parallel, whereas in Skyward Sword, I didn't notice because I didn't quit as much. This one, I didn't notice because I quit more often. Oh, yeah, that is kind of funny. That little dude kind of kicked my ass. The way this guy patrols is just... I don't know. Just like, I'm going to walk over here, and then I'm going to walk over here. Aha! Uh -huh. No, not my snoot. No. Dang it. I'm more worried about that little guy. I'm like, get away. Get away, you true threat. Ow. You true threat. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, these guys are just... They want you dead so much. Ow. <laughs> Go away, <Yeah>. true enemy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, the little guy, you're fighting the little guy, you're like, oh no, not you, and you see the big guy, you're just like, oh, a punching bag. Or a sl or a sl And then, joining Or a practice dummy. I just dummy. love the way I yeeted that guy. <laughs> Get over here. Ah, oh, that's better. And at this point, I'm like, oh, my equipment zone, oh, oh, my equipment zone has expanded. I could probably equip that uh, armor that I have. Hmm. Well.
Take them, taking those. I'll be taking that and your life. And he is dead. Yeah. I was trying to target his head so I could get flesh, but I targeted his arm and got flesh. <laughs> Man, these coins are heavy, Duck. You keep saying that word. <laughs> I don't think it means what you think it means. That's a different way to go with that, with that but sure. <laughs> well, that's how that scene, that's how that other scene goes in the other thing. Yeah, that's true. That I've never watched. I just, I just know it vicariously through memes. And there are a lot of memes <laughs> from that. That's because people use words in them correctly. It's like, oh, wait, go around. Whoa! Like, you little pieces of little shits. <laughs> <coughs> Good thing they gave me so much Leotes. My first mistake was trying to actually fight these things. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, bye! Bye bye. Goodbye now. Bye bye. And remember, I said unlocking that one chain gives like one of the best shortcuts in the whole tower. Yep. Well, this is why. And see, I could just have always gone for that top middle one. Sometimes you just gotta take the whatever by the horns. Uh, servant beast. Yeah. Uh. I don't know if any of the particular servant beasts have, like, individual names. We're probably not going to get a rare-ass credit sequence where it goes through the names, are we? And he fell down the thing, and I'm like, wait a minute, where'd he go? Um. What? I'm just like, okay then. Bye. Doink, 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 doink. See? I'm already back up to the bridge area. Nice. And then... Will you just go to... I actually keep forgetting that you can just hold C and just instantly drop. Because I'm not used to games working that way. <laughs> and... Holy sh- I'm like, oh my gosh, these things just smack the shit out of me. They're kicking my ass. Oh gosh. So I'm like, run away, run away, run away. Yeah, and then I see a normal little dude, and I'm like, oh, okay, I can oh. die. Well darn. So yeah, freeload from last checkpoint, which ends out being... <laughs> the beginning of the tower. Wow. And uh, I've already pre-cut this out. I've tried a few more times and died constantly. So it's like, okay, um, my equipment zone has been expanded. Let me go get that armor that I have that I have not been using because I have not been able to equip it as of now. Wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, yeah, transfer from trunk to my inventory. Not that. This. Wait. Why am I looking at this? <laughs> Why? Stop. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's. Oh, okay, good. There we go. 
Yeah, that drives me crazy too in post recordings when I'm like, okay, and then I did this and I looked at this for a really long time. Stop it past me. Stop it past me. See? Another 132 defense. I'm like, ah. Hopefully I won't be getting my ass kicked as much. Hopefully not. And then I return to the tower, and... I, th I think I had another part where I died and cut that out, too. <laughs> I'm um, like, I, I don't have any room to equip my self-reviving sage stones, which only take effect if you have them equipped. Hmm. But hey, it means I'm not losing them every time I die either, so I can save them for bosses and stuff. Yeah. And then, for whatever reason, the big guy doesn't spawn in this room. Only these little guys. Which, in a weird way, actually makes the little guys easier because then I can just focus on chaining them up and being like, you, you're you not doing shit to me now. <laughs> Especially when it's only one. Have you noticed enemies not spawning in other towers? Uh, it happens. Okay. I don't know what controls the spawn. May maybe I got my ass kicked too much and it pulled a Resident Evil 4 and was like, okay, we're going to despawn some enemies. Yeah. We'll get rid of the big ones. That's the ones you're having problem with problems with, right? Yeah. And I'm like, thanks, game. <laughs> so you seem to be right in saying that it makes those guys easier. <laughs> they got those no guys backup. Are just those guys are just easier when there's no one else around <laughs> at all. Oh, hold on. Carrie's calling. Let me just tell her. BRB. There we go. Oh, I thought you weren't planning on streaming We're not. tonight. We're not. We're just talking. <laughs> oh, okay. Talking with your friends online? Who does that? That's just ridiculous. I'm totally not doing it right now. <laughs> Damn it, Mark, that was supposed to be the point of the joke. <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that part. <laughs> it's like that time when, when they're trying to do the who's on first joke, and Seymour just explains everything about the joke perfectly. He's like, well, Seymour, you've ruined the bit. It's over! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> but is, is this a Simpsons thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I I have some Simpsons... I have approximate Simpsons knowledge, but it's not it's not as uh, intimate as yours. He was doing Who's On First, the Who's On First bit, with, of course it was Superintendent Chalmers, because of course it was. <laughs> Who else is he going to disappoint more? <laughs> His mother. Oh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> Seymour, the house is on fire! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, pass me. Why did you fight this guy again? Oh, probably to get the experience that I lost from when I died. <laughs> Alright, I think it's close enough. Once you get to the next room, we'll, uh, we'll stop the recording for now. Alright. You're gonna have to specify what constitutes as the next room, though. <laughs> Because I think technically the game counts this as a different room, but at the same time the same room. I don't know. <laughs> just, just go down me. I suppose if it would have to take that door. All right, that counts. <laughs> okay. I should have said go through a door. 
<laughs> All right. All right. Well, um, this is the one hour and thirteen minute, uh, thirteen se fifteen sec mark. Okay. Well, we'll con we'll pick it up from here. All right. I'm. S and then. Press that. All right. So. There we go. Okay. So while that's playing, um. Do, 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 do. Oh, do you. Do you have that thing that I shared with you? Before? Um. Actually, hold on. Let me, uh. Chat. Chat window. Okay. I can just scroll back through the chat history and find that uh, the little thing regarding the boss stuff. Anyways, yeah, I'm fine. So uh, it's it's been another day, <laughs> which is gonna be very weird with the way this is going. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just, I'm coming over here to try to see if, like, I can find anything of note. You know, any, any notes, any text documents, anything. Especially since that particular area is kind of, like, cut off. Yeah. By the way, throughout this entire um, thing, you're going to see, like, every problem... Uh, I can't open it. And this will be barred from the other side. I do find this chest, though, over here, that requires some portal shenanigans to find. You'll find that sometimes the portals to the other side are, like, hidden. <laughs> this is especially where things like the Stygian... I mean, not... The, yeah, the Stygian and Luminous Stones can be particularly useful because they have a larger blast radius, so they have a better chance at activating portals that you can't see from where you're currently at. There might... Usually, though, if there's a portal you can't see in one place, you can see its exit portal from the other tower. Right. As sort of like a hint. Anyways, throughout this whole thing, you're going to see, like every freaking problem I've ever had recording with a hopage. Huh. Sometimes, even though the hopage's bit rate is turned all the way up to the maximum that device and program can do, this right here looks like pixelated garbage at times when I'm moving around, and that's for most of this particular video recording. Huh. Remember, this is chopped up into different video recordings that were then stitched together. You had at the beginning, there was those random-ass red pixels. Um, this one is... You had in the, another recording that weird, like, white screen that would sometimes flicker on. This one has just this weird, like, drop in bitrate for... I have no idea what reason. Wow. Um, also, our good old friend, the weird frame rate, the, the bizarre frame rate that makes the video impossible to put into a video editor, rears its ugly head. You'll know that when the video, you'll know when I get to that recording, when the video suddenly turns about a whole hell of a lot darker and the contrast is like, some things are just pitch black looking. Huh. Because I had to re-record the video that is otherwise fine in video players, but uh, video editors freak out. Yeah. <clears throat> I had to re-record that recording using OBS. <laughs> and <laughs> that made the, the colors a lot darker. I have no idea why that happens. Um... This game doesn't want to be beaten in a let's play. <laughs> I have ways of making it beat. 
<laughs> Anyways, the the chains I'm going after right now are usually the chains that most people would go after before getting the... Oh, wait. Black light stones. I leave these words to my most faithful student. Now, whether it's the army... <clears throat> The army's infernal blundering to blame, I cannot say. But in any case, the towers are full of beasts. Should I not survive this living hell, I want these to be my final words to you. The most dangerous beasts are those who wield weapons like human soldiers and use the wings on their back to float. There are two types. You should use the stone against them. The power it gives off will wound them and stop their movements. If you manage to make it out of the towers, can I ask you to do me a favor? Should I not return, my daughter will become the head of my family. Would you be so kind as to give her advice in my place? Well, what's her name? I have not always been an easy teacher to have but I hope you can forgive me my failings. Farewell. You didn't tell me your name, your family name, or your daughter's name, idiot. I guess whoever he was writing to is... Uh... Oh, hey, look. It's the... Wait, where did he go? Or where did she go? I don't know. It's that dangerous enemy! It's the dark version of these dudes. We've already seen the light version. They have the same properties. Although these guys can use an attack that's like a replica of your chain. Oh, jeez. They can, they can chain you. So you better chain them before they chain you. <laughs> That was so hard. I know. I was <laughs> shaking in my proverbial boots. This game does a really bad job at following through with its threats. <laughs> Most uh, of the time. You won't be saying that when there's multiples of them. <laughs> when I can just chain one up and ignore it, then yes. When I can't chain one up and ignore it. Oh boy. Is that fun? <laughs> Just looking around for things like there you are, you Stygian stone. <laughs> no relation to Stygian Zenogre. That's the only reason I even know that word. <laughs> Same here. I was like, eh, I got plenty of shade stones. I waste a luminous stone here because that's all I had. I would have just used a light stone if I had one. Sometimes one of those light version of the enemies will spawn in this room, but I got lucky for some reason. And no spawn. Huh. Swingity swing swing, swingity swing. Now I get a light stone. <laughs> Something that could have been brought into my inventory yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I'd put a light stone. If I had one! Okay, I cannot seem to... Boom! Desktop. Maybe it's in my... Desktop. Uh... P, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. There it is. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm I'm all I'm I'm all set up to talk about the boss now, even though we're still way away from that lightstone. I'm like, well, 
Uh, time to make some room in my inventory. Let's see here. Uh, Spirit Silver. We'll definitely want to keep that. Dark Matter. Shade Stone. I got a lot of those, but I still might need them. Uh, Strong Arm Band. Bulwark Band. Don't want to keep those. Uh, dripping flesh, pulsating flesh, lump of metal. I did, did, did. Dripping flesh is pretty common in this tower, so eh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> These guys don't have replica chains. They just have boomerang things. The replica chains on the dark ones actually make some lore sense because. In one of the notes I had picked up, and I had read out, like, what feels like years ago at this point, <laughs> with <laughs> how many notes there are in this game, they said that they didn't need the Vestra and, and their chain anymore. The, the chain that I'm using as a weapon was originally used to create the original Masters 500 years ago. And then the new masters that were created 50 years ago were created using a replica of the of the chain technology of the huh. Oraklos chain that the Vestra people use. And huh. when you think about it, even if it is magical to some degree, it's still it's still kind of a type of technology. If yeah. if you want to get really uber technical with it so the fact that someone could figure out how this works specifically and duplicate it <clears throat> even if it's not a perfect duplica 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 that almost sounds like it would be the name of a fake pokemon like oh no no wait wait if if you made like a pokemon a shameless pokemon ripoff and made like a ditto creature and called it Duplica. Well, there is a name of a character in Pokemon named Duplica. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I I think she was supposed to be like the anime's version of copy of the copycat girl. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, whenever you're dealing with beast troubles, just muzzle them. Not my snoot! Oh, no! <laughs> now that I... Now that I've gotten the chain that I need that one portal for, I could probably close that portal, so... to make this bridge more accessible to me. Huh. <clears throat> it's not something I ever do, but... Please excuse the coughing, I get something in my throat. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Wheezing. Coughing. Pulsating flesh. <laughs> and at this point I'm just like, eh, get this dripping flesh out of here. The pulsating flesh is worth more. <laughs> that would be funny if Aaron had like a a Brooklyn accent or something. Hey, Elena! <laughs> I brought you some meat! Some flesh to eat, Elena! You almost, you almost sound like you're doing a cross between a Brooklyn accent and Rhine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, now, now there's two of these guys, and while I can technically chain both of them, the chain won't last that long. Oh, yeah. And I can't just endlessly chain, pull, and... And when I try to pull the chain for power, well, they can... they can hurtify me. <laughs> I have a cat on but each armrest. Lord of the cats. <laughs> no, you're not poking your face onto my tablet. Don't do that. Aww. Yeah. Now I actually have to, like, try and kind of fight these things. They're still not that dangerous compared to, you know, 
other enemies. Yet. Oh, by the way, you want to know something funny about the microphone Oof. USB cable? What? Um, it is a the type of USB oh, cable you I, use. I, okay, can I cut you off for just a second? I want to explain what just happened there. I had thought when I chained that one guy that he somehow did like a feedback thing through my chain and hurt me. But looking at it again, uh, he just threw his thing at me as the chain hit. Uh, Blacklight Masters. Our research group has been charged with conducting an investigation into the two masters of the Dawn and Dusk Towers. They could justifiably descri be described as perfect creations, combining both overwhelming attack powers with superb defense, light and darkness. Truly, these are weapons of unparalleled effectiveness. Some of our colleagues have made foolish claims about the twin forces of light and dark somehow reacting and leading to destructive destruction. How do they come up with such errant nonsense? The masters wield flawless blades and carry perfect shields! Scaremongering scholars such as them bring us all into disrepute. They would be more usefully employed in one of the in one of the experiments. Okay, so you were saying about the cord? Yeah, it's um it's not a USB C, it's not a micro USB, it's a cord that you'd use for a printer. I think I kinda saw that in the picture you, you know, like one the picture of the box that you posted. And to which, to, to that, I would say, still better than many. <laughs> yeah, those kind of cords kind of remind me of, like, the cords you would hook up old consoles with. Yeah. By the way, the unreadable notes that you get outside of, that you get outside of the uh, boss rooms in this... Those are the Vassal Testaments. Normally you would find a Vassal Testament inside the boss room, but in this one they're found outside the boss room. Because after I beat these two towers, uh, Elena won't be available for translating notes anymore. Huh. So they give them to you outside the boss room so that you have a chance to get them translated. Hmm. <sighs> Dark Matter. This could be reasonably considered to be the quote-unquote rare item for this tower. Spirit Silver might also uh, fit that bill. These towers are treated as a single tower. It, even though you have the ability to go to either or directly from the observatory, they are kind of treated as a single tower gameplay-wise. And that may actually be the cause of the glitch. <laughs> when you said fit the bill, all I could think of was like, oh, this should fit the bill guy, the science guy. Bill, bill, bill. The <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it's Anyways, like, wait. You can see there's a portal in that room over there. Mm -hmm. And that is a clue to something. Jinkies. <laughs> but at this point, I'm like, uh, I'm still gonna just focus on the chains for right now. I'll come. I'll come back to worrying about that later. Though it is a good thing that I do investigate that room. If I wanted to go to that room, I'd have to go to the door. I'd have to go to that door. But I'm like, eh, chain, chain. Now, that's a chain door. But you notice it's all brokened. Oh yeah. I don't know why I went back in through that door. I guess I was just... I, I think I'm trying to, like, map this area out a little bit in my head. Even though I have seen videos of the layout. But I'm just trying to be, like, sure of where I am. Anyways, you'll notice I can't go into that chain door, but there is a portal on the other side. I don't yeah. know why I can't just shoot my chain through the hole in the door to destroy the thing. 
but, you know, whatever. And on this side here, that door is barred. There's rubble behind me that keeps me from entering from that direction. So you kind of have to use the portal. Just looking around for stuff. Do 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 do. Chain, chain, chain. Door. Nice. And then, by use of a light stone. Hey, look, I'm instantly in the other room. Oh my gosh, you did it! Another door. door! I just like that boom sound. Now I'm really curious what's up with the bosses of these towers. Or bosses? I don't know how this works. Oh, you'll see. You will see. However,. This episode, after a little bit, this episode is going to take quite the detour, both figuratively and literally. Stygian stone. Stygian. And here's where I'm like, I'm really curious about what the hell is in there. I'm trying to see if, like, there's a way... Because I was thinking maybe I could get in there from there and use the portal to go to the other tower where the real secrets might be. But then I realized that, no, this is probably just showing me a clue. So I start looking at my map. And, you know, I'm scrolling through my map and I'm like, uh-huh, okay... Mm hmm. Hmm. I wish there was a way to change the thing from the dust tower to the dawn tower on the map here. So you could, like. You know how Metroid Prime 2 had a thing where, like, you could press a button and it instantly switched over between the light world map and the dark world map? Uh huh. So you could get a better idea as to how the two areas kind of function when they overlap? I yeah. wish they had something like that for these towers. Can't open it. It's locked from the other side. I'm like, aha! So now I'm starting to put all the pieces together. Like, okay, okay. If I can't open the door in this tower, and I know there's a portal on the other side of that door... Open the door, don't swing your weapon. <laughs> I've done that so many times in video games. <laughs> Unreadable old note. Mercury. Sage stone. Which I can't hold. I didn't know where the portal was going to be exactly, so I used a Stygian stone for its wider burst so that it would cover it. Got some spirit silver in there. More mercury, which I won't be using. <laughs> Centrum, the fulcrum? The military elite grow more frustrated by their inability to enter the tower named Centrum. What manuscripts remain say that this tower acted as a kind of fulcrum for all the others? The army are most keen to study this tower more fully. But I'm not so sure. After all, our forefathers were unable to create the final master, even with the power of the chain. Now that the power of the chain has waned, and the army is making do with technology that acts as a replica of the real chain, we will... Will we really be any more successful in creating that final master? The power of the chain is waning. Are we simply doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past? Yes. Yeah. 
unreadable, grimy note, orb of opposites. Now, considering how hard it is to get in here, I think one of these two unreadable notes is the one that I was particularly searching for, especially since, um, Elena will the first unreadable note that I had gotten in this episode, Elena will have that translated for me by the time I get back. And <laughs> it is not the one that I was trying to get. You're all alone. There's no one here to stop me finding you. <laughs> oh, um, hi there, friend, and... Oh, gosh! Oh, okay. Ow. Damn it. I'm um, just like, later. <laughs> I just nope the heck out of there. <laughs> like, I am not dealing with this today. Especially considering, look at my curse gauge. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, not my curse. You know what I mean. <laughs> ah, deck on it, when it stop controlling my mic volume. Welcome back. I finished translating that text you gave me, Aaron. Alchemist Duty 6. Request so, more translations! Is this what you want me to translate? Alright, leave it to me. Aaron, I just want to say thank you. For everything. Yay! If I've I become thanks. something from the other world when I... Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I've I've heard it this one be before. Really dark place. I don't know why I was lingering on that one. I wonder how yeah. my mother's doing. Normally, I would have sped through that, and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna linger on this. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, poo satine flesh. No. Yes. <laughs> You will and skip, skip, skip the eating. It's underworld, stupid. No, wait, it's <laughs> it's under miscellaneous, stupid. And then we do a post post recording, and your future stuff is like it's under miscellaneous, stupid. <laughs> Alchemist Duty 6. And Alchemist Duty is to fuse, fuse, and fuse again! I managed to sneak in here in the midst of the general confusion, but now a huge hole has opened up in the floor. Get the ratio of white and black droplets mixed up, and it has explosive results. I wonder what happens when you use equal amounts. I hurt my leg in the blast, and I'm none too mobile at the moment. An alchemist who doesn't mix all he can mix is as worthless as mercury! Now I need to find some of those droplets. Wait a moment! Those white and black droplets could be fused with detonation ore! You've got some <laughs> flesh going spare? Well, let me see. Well, well, I'll buy that off you if it's all for this kind of imp. What Ooh. can I do for you? After you've Select read a specific, item you wish to create. After you've read a very specific, um, Alchemist Duty, it's Alchemist Duty Seven is the one, and that's one of the ones being translated right now. Was there something Lena. else you wanted? A specific. Well then. A Select specific item, item becomes available Seems that to be went created. Well. That'll cost you ten. Seems <coughs> that went well. Was there something else you wanted? Choose but the a thing weapon. is, is Choose that you actually have to, to read the note, Alchemist Duty Seven, before the item becomes available in the item creation. It's not enough to simply have it in your inventory. I almost have enough to Choose do a way that to forge. Sword, uh, upgrade. 
At this point in the game, I have seen Choose almost every item needed for item upgrades, except black droplets. I have not actually seen, quote-unquote, in this file, a black droplet, even though it is available for me in the item wanted? creation. Select the item you wish to create. What creation method do you wish to use? Uh, remember he said use equal amounts of white and black droplets? Yeah. To create something that's what creation for the method orb of opposites. Was there something else Spirit you wanted? Too. Farewell for now. And I make my ritualistic trip over here to see what the birds have brought. Uh, no birds, so nothing. And to see if there's anything in the basement. Take a wild guess and the answer is no. <laughs> of course. It's just that there are times I come down into the basement and there'll be notes... And then there's times I come down to the basement again, and there's new notes that weren't there before, so I have no idea what causes them to spawn. Huh. So I'm just, I'm like always paranoid that I might miss something. And given the erratic nature of the thing, if I understood, like, what controls that, I would be less paranoid, but yeah. I'm like, I don't really need these stones anymore. Let's get them in the trunk, let's put some that metal away and all this other stuff. White droplet, orb of opposites, spirit silver, dark matter, Strong arm band that I didn't even use. <clears throat> and then I'm just trying to I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing next. So I'm like, huh, what what do I wanna how do I wanna tackle things next? So yeah, that brings that recording to an end, and this is the start of a new recording. Thankfully, this one didn't have any of the issues that I normally have with Hot Potash. Oh, nice. So, this is, like, what it looks like when Hot Potash is behaving itself 100%. Nice. So, at this point, I'm like, well, I want Elena to translate those texts before that becomes a thing that she just no longer can do. Oh yeah, definitely want to do that. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to make a return trip to some towers and grab some rare items and stuff that I need for upgrading weapons. And so now I'm just kind of like looking over on the wiki what different item, what different requirements I need for things and what the items are, where I can get them. I just completely ignore Elena. One thing I did not know, I, I should have brought this up during the tower tour videos, but I didn't know it at the time. When you go out to a tower, one hour passes in game time. Huh. So, if you want to hunt for rare items... Hey, go away, woman! Shut up, woman! We're busy! Hey, Aaron. Yes. Shut up! So I return to the Crimson Keep, Arcadian Tower, and Rockshard Rampart, the best tower name in all the towers. Ah, uh, so this is why the ending is so long. <laughs> yeah. To grab a few things. I also find some note I also find a few texts that I had missed on my initial go through of these places. I was originally going to cut this part out, but this part is actually so... I mean, not cut it out, but like... 
<laughs> he hit me on the damn ladder and did like almost no damage. Wow. <clears throat> I was gonna like speed up through this part, but then I was like, this this part isn't actually that long. The the part of me getting to this center room here. Because this center room has the sacred ashes that I am looking for. Some of those were those lights that you saw there that I apparently did not notice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I walked away from them. And then looking back on the footage, I'm like, how did I not... Okay. Whatever. <laughs> sacred ashes. But since I don't have the exact amount memorized, I'm just like, I'm going to look all throughout here to find as many sacred ashes as I can. I kind of wish there was a way to, like, literally go from one tower to the other tower. As yeah. in, like, like a sort of interconnected, like, Super Metroid type of thing. But maybe there would be, like, things that you have to open up from the other towers. Do, 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 do. Just searching around, just searching around. Trying to find me some more sacred ashes. And of course, whenever I'm just exploring a tower for the sake of exploring a tower, I use the twin blades because I move faster. Right. Oil is a used item that cures the status ailment of corrosion. I don't know what that is, to be perfectly. Huh. I don't know what corrosion is. Maybe it's like an attack down or defense down stat. I'm not 100% sure. I've huh. never used oil as a use item before. <laughs> <laughs> I've always used it as like a gift for Elena, with the rationale being that, oh, um, she can use it for the lamp. Right. Ow. Still just looking around, looking around, seeing what can be found. There's a bunch of stone boxes that I can break. Heavy Lee hearts that I will take. I have no idea why, but out of all Mario music, Mario 2's overworld theme gets stuck in my head the most. <laughs> I think that's, like, for me, the, the catchiest earworm of the series. Got a broken pan, see ya. I was on this platform, and yet, somehow, I never broke this box and got this text. Huh. Crimson Master. With an ocean of flame, within an ocean of flames is found the Crimson Keep's master. There is something awesome in its ability, in its ability to appear at so at ease within the Inferno. Researchers claim that its powers come from the flames that cover its body. It protects its master flesh with this flame, and none are able to touch it. It is invincible while it has fire on its side. Invincible. It has quite a ring to it, does it not? <laughs> Should maybe call like a comic book or a TV show that sometime. <laughs> this is a perfect weapon to have in our arsenal. Just imagine it's terrible. Fire tearing through the ranks of the enemy. Wow. Th way to go past me. <laughs> I can I can fix that with editing. Post post editing. <laughs> If the show's called Invincible, then why can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, that's funny every time. <laughs> <laughs> Another material that I need for some upgrades is Beast Fangs, ironically enough. Because usually when given the option to go for Beast Fangs or Beast Meat... I go for the meat, but I'm like, you know what? I need to 
He's like, sorry, I need to perform a little dental work on you, old chum. <laughs> but um, yesterday, when I was looking at stuff on Netflix, I saw the name of a show, and it just made me laugh. And it's like, I don't know why it made me laugh as hard as it did. It's a dumb name for a show. But um, the name for the show is Tinder Swindler. I don't know, it just sounds funny to me. Oh, that's a... that... that was a real event that actually happened. Hmm. Yeah. And the event is a sort of one-sided... Just, uh, It's a Gundam has a video on that. Huh. At Crimson Torches. The moths I was researching have escaped. I need you to go out there and find them. They are attracted to fire, so they are very likely to be found near torches in the chambers and the corridors. That's the first place to look. Should the torches be extinguished, fetch the burning coals in the storage room and rekindle them. I am afraid I have very important research to be getting on with, so I'll leave it to you to round up all these moths. Damn moths! But yeah, it was it was a real life guy that basically feigned being like rich and powerful and stuff, and conned a bunch of women out of money. And of course, it's a scummy thing to do. But you know, certain people have double standards, and if a woman does it to a guy, well, then she's perfectly justified <laughs> because that's yeah. actually happened. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, that that's fine," but how dare this? Dude, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll link you the video that I watched on the topic when we're done with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 bye. Da, 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 da. And then I go and check in with Elena. It's like, you got that document translated for me yet? Welcome back, Aaron. Welcome back, Aaron. And no, she does not. So I'm like, okay. Well, um, let's give her some gifts to try to get that last node on the affinity thing filled up. <laughs> Is this for me, Eric? Because for every node on that affinity bar that you fill up, she gives you different... Is this for she'll me? give you different items as rewards for thanks. So, right. it's like, might as well see what the last thing she gives me is. Yep. You know, when I tell you now, it ends up being kind of ironic. Is this for if me? I'm even using that word correctly. Iron ironic or irony is one of those words that people use incorrectly all the time. Mm -hmm. If I become something, Aaron, you're always put... Uh-huh. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Got it. Well, well. It uh, sell like the text that I that just found. This. So it's time to open for business. Choose a weapon. I don't even Choose know how I. Forge. I was in both of the room. You I had been in both of the rooms that those that texts went, were right? in, so I don't know how I didn't find them before. Yeah. That's just crazy to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm just looking at more of the shit that I need. Was there something? Farewell. Was there something? Farewell. And so now I'm like, okay, what what time do I need to go to the Arcadian Tower to get the setting sun? La, da, 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 da. Looking at it on the wiki. Da, 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 da. The wiki needs some maintenance, especially since one person seems to think that the rather... Well... I'll I'll save that. I'll 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 save talking about that for a bit. Because somebody was wrong. 
<laughs> I've got verifiable proof in this video that they are wrong. I've got proof all throughout the Let's Play that they're wrong, but... <laughs> you know. Arcadian Tower. I wish that they had given each tower its own individual music. Yeah. It's kind of like how in old Zelda games, every dungeon would have, like, the same theme except for the maybe the final dungeon. Yeah. And then and starting... With A Link to the Past, they had different dungeon music for the Light World and Dark World dungeons. Eh. Oddly topical for this video. Yeah. <laughs> they were about to do their triple thing. Ugh. <laughs> Ow. Hey, yikes. <laughs> I love that move. <laughs> so longer. <laughs> You'd think they would just, like, electrify themselves and have the current go through the chain. Ow. Ow. Why does the chain stop their ability to use electricity? That actually doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, what the heck? You'd think that would be like a counter for the chain, actually. <laughs> like, oh, you think you're gonna chain me up? Well, I'll just send this electric current through your chain and it'll zap you. Weird. But yeah, then... Uh, going back to the whole music thing, though, and then, like, later Zelda games would start having different music for, like, each dungeon. Or at the very least, they could have did, like, all the... the they could have had, like, a shared theme for the two wood-based towers, and the two plant-based towers, a shared theme for the two earth-based towers, and so on and so forth, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And then have, like, the Dawn and Dust Towers have their own unique theme. Sometimes there's just no music at all. Tactical Manual. That is a use item that gives you experience when you use it. Huh. It's normally one of the priciest things you can buy off of Mavda. But it's generally considered not to not be worth it, unless you're trying to grind for, like, the highest level, I think. <laughs> I think the XP it gives you is, like, proportional to your level, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't really understand how it works. <laughs> By the way, I'm not getting that weird, like, static noise that I was getting f from you yesterday. And I've talked to you over the same thing. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. Technology is incredible. When it works. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all complain about technology, but then again, it's like... <laughs> we wouldn't be doing half the things we do without it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just because just because your computer acts all floompy every once in a while doesn't mean that you should just destroy your entire computer and trash it. <laughs> you know? Mm hmm Just because things don't work perfectly doesn't mean you just completely get rid of the entire thing. Uh, 
elevator going up, going up, going up, elevator going up. You piece of shit thing. Go and see your over friend. There. Yoink. Yeah, not so tough when it's just one of yous. I can toss you around and stuff, you stupid clown. Huh. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, I don't want to go this way. <laughs> Yoink. I never would have known that, uh... I mean, of course, this part I could have been here for. <laughs> Which is wand. But yeah, I never would have thought that the end of this game had such a glitchy secret. Yeah. You're not going to be flying again anytime soon, Moth. No, no, you don't get to go into the air. You die, and you give me a poison bomb, yes. <laughs> you get the lashes. The, mo the moth slowly turns around, like, what was that? That was your death. Setting sun. And at this point, I'm like, I'm gonna need some flesh to bring back for Elena. You'll do nicely, Mr. Tree Thing. One of the few enemies that can actually be a threat to me even when I'm chaining you. Huh. See? Ow. It's one Ow. of the reasons why I question the whole, why don't the wolves just electrocute my chain thing? Yeah. <laughs> because they're stupid, I guess. <laughs> I got some dreeping flesh. I guess that will have to do. And at this point, I'm just still looking for more setting soons. Nothing in here, nothing. And I miss Dryad Berry, not what I was looking for. It's like, hey, you were supposed to go over there. Like, grab the thing, throw the thing, miss the thing, grab that guy, and rip the money out of him. And for some reason, I try to extract the Dryad Berry from this thing, from this distance, while holding on. Apparently, you can't pull the chain out while you're holding on a ledge. I was not aware of this. Hmm. I keep trying, and then I'm like, it can't reach it. And then I'm just like, oh, forget it. He's like, I need to get my butt out of here. So, wee Roll! Yeah. Because when you roll in your head, that just absorbs all momentum from your fall, you see. Huh. And, and just makes you take no damage. It works in real life, try it. I mean... Uh, the, with the way this game's mechanics work, you could... Aaron could jump off the frickin' you know, name a really, really tall building from the top. Welcome back, Aaron. And roll, and he'd be fine. Yeah, because that's how it works. What's up? Here's that thing you asked me to translate. I hope there's something useful in there. Vassal Testament 11, Vassal Testament 12, Alchemist Duty 7. Whoa, somebody's been a busy bee. I've taken hits. Is your body hits. still numb, Aaron? I can't help worrying after you said you'd been paralyzed. I hate it when my legs go numb. 
I can't imagine it happening to my entire body. Just thinking about it makes me shudder. Be sure to take plenty of medicine with you, all right? How am I supposed to use the medicine if I can't move my body? Yeah, idiot. Is this for me? Eat the flesh. Um. Yum, nom, 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 nom. And no, I do not need a rest. Life force band! You've got some flesh going well, lit. Well, well, I'll buy that off you. For this kind of. What can I do for Oh, you? she bought the text that Elena had just translated, but Select I can still the read item them all. You wish to create. Now, remember, I said Alchemist Duty 7 so is what I need for the wanted. thing. But it's not in there yet. It's not in the creation menu yet because I have not well, read it. That'll okay. You Is need to read something the thing before it becomes available. Choose a weapon. Right. Choose a way to forge. I'm like, how do I not have enough bodily fluid? Oh, you want to ca yeah. Seems that went well. Oh, now I'm hearing that static again. Huh. It came back. Was there something? Farewell. And at this point, I'm like, maybe I should read the things that I had actually gotten. Yeah. So, I, uh, no, wait. Uh, there, there we go. Uh, towers, no. World. Vassal Testaments do go under world, but the, the way they're sorted. Uh, Alchemist Duty 7. Alchemist Duty is diffuse, diffuse, diffuse again. I did the right thing when I chose to ignore the order to vacate the towers. How else would I have ever... How else would I ever have the chance to come to the Dawn and Dust Towers within the Forbidden Area? An alchemist who doesn't mix all he can mix is worthless mercury. I have a feeling that my forefathers would be proud. I know, I'm going to try combining this orb I found with the materials in this room. I've already read this one too. There we go, past me. Finally figured it out. Vassal Testament 11. My twin sister is the only family I have left, but the war tore the war tore me from her, and I don't know where she is now, but I know she's alive. I have faith. This is the reason I came here. I despise war. It took my parents' lives and separated me from my beloved sister. This is the reason I chose to become a vassal. Vessel, not vassal, vessel. I pray no one else will suffer and that my sister can live in peace, wherever she may be. My twin brother is the last remaining family member, but the war has torn us apart. I heard that he was sent to the front, yet I believe he is still alive. Go on. I hate war. It is stolen my parents from me, and my brother is missing. If I can help remove some of the sadness and misery that the war has brought, I am willing to sacrifice myself. Gee, I wonder where their other twins are. What can I do for you? Select Hello? the item you wish to create. Yep. And there it is. What the chaos. Item do you wish to Oh, use? finally. This is the I I'm in Ooh. awe when I yeah. noticed that I actually had everything well? to make this right away. I was like, um, yes, please. Was there something else you wanted? This Farewell. gives 150 defense, which is the same defense that the spirit tunic gives, but it has the added benefit of making it so that status ailments heal faster. Nice. Doesn't make you immune to them, but it makes them recover faster. 
add this to my life force band and well yeah and now I and now I have to like refigure out the configuration of my stuff like, yeah, okay put you there and put my warrior amulet there I can't fit anything else until I level up some more and get this equipment zone maxed out. Oh, too bad. But I've got some really good shit on hand. Nice. The top of the shirt on the Chaos Robe looks like it it widens for, like, boobs or something. And now I'm thinking about calling Mavda again. Should I call Mavda? Hmm. I think I was also looking at something on the wiki while I was so sitting there. Time to open for business. I choose can't a, remember choose a what way exactly to forge. Oh yeah, I th I think I remember now. I think I was looking at uh. Was there some farewell? Some of the weapon requirements. So uh, it's time to I sometimes business. accidentally back entirely out of the menu when I don't mean to. <laughs> what creation method do you wish to use? Uh, yeah, I wanted to make some Aegis... Aegis... Uh, Aegis steel. Aegis. Remember what Xenoblade 2 has taught you. It's pronounced Aegis. Right. Left. I just find it funny, those vassal testaments. It's like, the one, he's like, My twin sister, I don't know where she is. And then the other one's like, My twin brother, I don't know where he is. <laughs> and I'm just like, Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, then. <laughs> Especially since they have, like, similar circumstances of not knowing where their parents are. At this point, I think I'm st still trying to figure out what I want to do my next course of action. Elena just turned over in bed. I didn't even know she did that. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm probably looking at the military scythe, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to the Rock Shard Rampart and get me some Shadow Stones. Shadow ore. And I find another piece of text that I missed initially. Actually, when I was looking back on the last Tower Tour video we did, I had noticed a part of the tower that I could have accessed that I never went to. Huh. Sneaking out before Elena could be like, Aaron! It's <laughs> like, ah! Uh. Uh, you know, actually, do, do you remember, I, I think I might have brought this up before, but, um, you remember the one Johnny Bravo short? It was like, jo where Johnny leaves the house and his mother's chasing him. Like, oh, yeah. Johnny! Johnny! You forgot your pants! <laughs> oh, man. I thought it was feeling kind of drafty. And it just <laughs> ends with a guy driving by going, ha 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 ha, look at that! <laughs> Boo! I, I don't know why, but that... I, I tend to think of that short any time... Elena stops us. Oh, with... <laughs> Aaron, you forgot your pants. And Aaron's like, damn it. <laughs> and then you hear in the distance, you hear him out to go. Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> I'm stronger now. Lump of metal! I found a lump of metal in this specific tower in that crate. Somebody huh. on the wiki was trying to make the argument that lump of metal was the rare item for the ironclad turret and not abyss ingot. Wow. That person is dumb. <laughs> because lump of metal is easily found in various other towers at various other times and can be pulled from enemies. Rare items can only be gotten from the specific can only be gotten either by buying them from Mavda, doing item fusion with Mavda, or going to a very specific tower at a very specific time of day. Hmm. You will not find rare uh, you will not find other towers rare items just lying around or being ripped from common enemies as you can with lump of metal huh. why they thought lump of metal was the real rare item is completely beyond me when it does not fit the mo of any other rare item in the entire game <laughs> yeah i don't get it what's even funnier is that this is only on the page for rare items. The, the the collective page for rare items that shows all the rare items. Take that, kicked, bitch. I just kicked that guy's ass and did a full dagger combo. Yeah. You know, but when you go to the Abyss Ingots page, it properly states that it is the rare item of the... Ironclad turret. Well, lump of metal does not say anything of the sort. Well, lump of metal's individual page does not say anything of the sort. I don't know if this commenter was just pulling an elaborate prank and was like, "Let's see how long it takes someone to notice <laughs> and call my bluff." I thought about responding to them, as you know. It, I don't have a I don't have a um account on any fandom site so I would just be labeled as a fandom user but <laughs> it's like and I've got plenty of video evidence not just in this video but in other videos throughout this LP that prove my point <laughs> let's muzzle you up and then I've got my thing on you and chain <laughs> I didn't want to hit his muzzle, though. I wanted to hit the other one's, like, body to wrap up his arms with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen! That got him. And that was a pulsating flesh. Yeah, if I had chained the other one's arms, he wouldn't have been able to pull me like that because he was ar he was already going to be linked to the other one. Huh. He's already going to be linked to this one, I mean. So, in other words, if he had tried pulling that stunt, he would have just pulled his friend. Yeah. That's a defang bomb, I don't need that. Do 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 do. Gold coins. Shadows. Shadow ore. It's like, finally found me some shadow ore. And then as I was pulling this thing up, I saw in the distance that little blue thing where you throw the rocks at, and was mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. I've never actually been over there, and I remember seeing so I remember seeing that from the last tower tour after the fact and thinking I've never been over there <laughs> so okay oh and what I was saying about this video being like split into chapters this whole this whole part right here is like mini tower tour <laughs> yeah So 
So, like, let's drag this little rocky poo over here. And let's pull the chain. Chunky, chunky, chunky. I could have just gone all the way up. I don't know why I didn't. Throw that over there. Chink, 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 chink. And then... Let's see what's in this room. Yeah. Rockshard Minotaur. The, that beast has two forms, that of a man and a bull. By day it charges its foes like a raging bull, while at night it stands on its hind legs and has the power to wipe out foes in a single blow. It's a tartar, it's a mini tartar, it's a mini 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 tartar. <laughs> the inspiration for its form comes from the myth of our neighboring... Whatever. About a man-eating minotaur locked within a labyrinth. Let this beast run amok on the battlefield, and the forces of that place will be thrown into a blind panic, and it'll be and it'll be relentless attacking them both day and night. Crates. I. I guess. Oh. Can't pick up those silver coins, but I can get more liots. I don't know why I didn't just use that little white piece of rock to just chain across the chain across to the other side. I think I just didn't notice it until I ran off the ledge and then I was like, oh, well shit. Yeah, that little that little glowing thing right there. I could have just used it to chain across the gap. I don't know why I didn't do that. Giant crystals are glowing something light. Gleaming <sighs> with an eerie light. That's what it says. Alright. Swing it across. Got me some more copper coins. Can't get enough of them copper coins. <laughs> <laughs> Still looking around for a shadow or Whee! I didn't roll, but I'm fine. <laughs> Life Force Band! Uh, I'm not sure why I'm pausing for a minute. I think I'm just trying to gather my thoughts and figure out, like, where I want to go from here. Huh. And then I'm like, okay, figured out. Come on, pull my chain, I dare you. Oh, wait, now you can't. Slash up! Woohoo! And there he goes. I guess, folks. Alright, I'll be down in a while. Is dinner ready or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't even know they were making dinner. Like, no, wait. Don't want to go that way. I want to go... This way. Bye, can't you? Can't you? Can't you? <laughs> no, I do not want some sticky mud. I don't want to be a sticky in the muddy. And that little glowing spot right over there, that is indeed. 
A Shadow War. Nice. This I know to be sure that it was indeed a Shadow War. <laughs> don't really need a poison bomb for anything. It's like, ooh, what's that over there? Why could it be yet another shadow ore? I shadow ore. And at this point I'm like, okay, I'm I'm satisfied with what I've got. Hurry up so I can drop on top of you, instead of falling into the void. Okay. Did you say you got enough stuff here? Or something? Yeah. Okay, cool. Time to leave! Exactly. How is Elena doing? She's doing fine. Alright, well, I guess I should... I better get to my dinner before it gets cold. Well, we'll come Welcome back, back to this. Welcome back. Okay. Alright, well, uh, well, I suppose yeah, you didn't cutting get here. <laughs> Stopping my recording for now. You need to eat proper Yes, meat. I needed to eat a proper meal to keep my energy the levels key to this up. Dish is, which does to If I become something Get that little thingy out of here. <clears throat> if you become something or whatever. You know what, speaking of eating proper meals to keep is your energy me? levels up, uh, have some dryad berries. And then have more triad berries. Is this for me? And then have, uh... I was actually thinking about giving her the gold coins I should have. <laughs> like, have shadow ore. Oh, this blue color is simply beautiful. It's just like a real gemstone. Are you sure this isn't valuable, Aaron? Can I really Take have it? Take it. I'm so happy. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Hmm. <clears throat> do 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 do. Was thinking about it. Was like, maybe not. I don't know. Is this for me, Aaron? Yes, you can have the oil. <laughs> use it in your lamp, use it in your bloody cooking. I don't care. <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking uh, of eating proper meals... <laughs> put some meat on them bones. You've got some flesh going around. Yes, I got flesh. Well, well, I'll buy that. Yes, I got reading material. Kind, so it's time to open for business. Yes, it is. Choose a weapon to for choose a way to forge. Like I need more bodily fluid and econo stones. Need all the econo stones. All of them. That question mark at the end there, that was... Choose a way to forge. For the military scythe, that's a black droplet. Apparently oh. I never found a black droplet. I also need me Choose some gleaming amber. Forge. At this point, I'm just like, mm, hmm. 
Thinking. Choose a way to fool. Thinking. Was there something mm. else you wanted? I want to create. Select the item you wish to create. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What creation? Butterfly charm. That's what a uh, creation method. Do you wish to another use? thing to give to Elena? What creation method do you wish to? What creation method do you wish to use? Where do you want to? What creation method do you wish to? What creation method do you? What creation method? What creation? What creation method? What creation method? What creation method? What creation method? What creation method do you wish to? Now I have all the abyss ingots I need, but now I'm short on lumps of metal. From creating the abyss so ingots. <laughs> that can happen in this game. But the lump of metal is much easier to get a hold of than abyss ingots. And the next recording thing. And at this point I'm like You know what? I really wanna get that uh that will cost you. I was like, that I really be, want to get that, that will cost, you know, that affinity will, chart maxed that out, will so that will, I'm going that will to focus this little bit will, on doing just that, that while will, also buying things that, will, that, that will, are usually used for, like, item synthesis and whatnot. Mm-hmm. That will cost you this much. That, that will, will cost you this much. That will, that will cost you that, this much. That 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 that, 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 that will cost you this that much. That will cost you this much. That will cost you this that, much. That, that that I didn't even realize that I ran out of bag space. That would be funny if um that, if she's like that will, that will cost, cost you this much and Aaron was just like it. how much? This much? That, you're not telling me how much it costs. <laughs> you pay this what much. This much. Hmm. Well, I'll pay. Hmm. I sold my old leather vest. I don't need that. I got chaos room, hmm. and I can only have one equipped at a time because someone on the wiki was trying to argue that makes sense that like you can only have one equipped at a time and I'm just thinking have they never heard of layering clothes <laughs> like have you never actually worn a shirt on top of a shirt on top of a shirt on top of a shirt or a, a yeah. vest on top of a shirt choose a way shirt section was there something else you wanted? Select the item you wish Select to create. Select the item you wish to create. Select the item you wish to create. A lot of the what stuff that you can make as equipment for use? Aaron are things you can also give... A lot of times you can also give them to Elena and she'll wear them. However, huh. I don't think you're allowed to give her one if you only have one what in your inventory. What creation, what creation? What creation? do you wish to use? Hmm. Hmm. Where do you want to store? Where do you want to store it? What creation? What do you? What creation hey. method? Where do you want hey, to store it? What well. creation method? <laughs> Spur ban gives you attack and defense. Where do you want to? I think the thor I'm not entirely sure how exactly the stats work when it shows like the little person icon next to the sword and shield. I think that's like saying it goes up by a percentage, or it's like affecting Aaron's base stats. What creation method huh. do you wish? To... I'm I'm not entirely sure how that calculation goes message? down. What creation? Hmm. What creation method do you wish to use? 
What creation? Okay. What creation method do you wish to use? I shall create thy mm. black droplet. Where do you want? Was there something else you wanted? Choose a weapon. Choose a way to forge. And I need five black droplets for the scythe. All it seems like all weapons well, need at least one need. orb of opposites, Farewell. which means that you technically need technically end up needing ten of both white and black droplets if you want to max out all of your weapons. Huh. Because you need five of each to create no wait. Five of each to create an orb of opposites, but orb of opposites is needed three times. So, you're going to need 15 of each, and then another five white to max out the sword. Thank you. Five black to max out the scythe. Oy, that's a lot of droplets. What's up, Ed? Here. You want to talk about something? If I become something, yes. Don't do anything stupid. Yes. I wonder how much. Uh huh. Now I was prepared to make this like a mini, you know, spending the whole day with Elena type episode. Wow! Uh, uh, Thank a, you, a, a mini one of the kind of like I had a mini tower like. tour. Uh huh. I was going to do, like, a mini version of that in this episode, too, just to get her Flower thing seeds. mixed out. Thank you. I can't really sow them right now, though. It's not good to have too many flowers. I'll do it at the next chance I get. You'll just have to wait a bit, Aaron. And by next chance I get, I mean New Game Plus. <laughs> You'll have to Thank wait you, till Aaron. then, Aaron. It's always good to have some nice cloth like this. Now... Now, then, now and laters. Thank you, Er. Now. It's like I have some gifts for you. Thank you, Er. <laughs> now. I have more gifts for you. Thank you. Now. Thank you. Now. I keep waiting to see if the thing like Oh, you really does the little this? animation. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. It's like not quite there yet. Almost there. <laughs> Are you really giving Yes, I'm really giving it to you. <laughs> It's like, I'm the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Sorry, I just I was looking in our Discord and Shadow just wished us happy birthday. I'm like, wh what? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is this for me? Uh, the birthday of the channel? Is it our channel's birthday? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, have some anyway. cute tea leaves. Anyway, the important thing is giving gifts to a link. Are you oh. really giving me this? Yes, I am. And... Doing! What's up? It... It has maxed out. Your Thank bond you, grows. Please take this. I hope it'll be of use to you. I just made one of those! <laughs> I could have saved my resources. <laughs> it gives like 63 more total attack power. 85 more chain attack power and some more defense but if you look at the stats directly it's like 
person attack three and person defense three. I don't really know. Is that like is that like saying a thirty percent increase or a three percent increase in stat? I have no idea how how to translate that. Yeah, I'll get it. Um. I'm sure someone will know, and they'll tell me in the comments, and I'll be like, Oh, yeah, okay, that's how it works. I wish the game was more transparent with that. Fly away, little birdies. It's everyone's favorite time again. It's time to check the basement! <laughs> And, well, champ, looks like you were a loser this time. <laughs> Tune in for the next installment of Check the Basement! Basement! It's like, well, let's put that in the trunk. I won't be needing that no more. Uh, yeah, put you in the trunk, and you go in the trunk, and put you in there, put you in there, and you go in there, huh. and put you and you, and you, and you, and you, and use, <laughs> and flower seeds I can't even use. And I'm just checking my stoofs. I wanted to know if I could use the tactical manual on the observatory, but you can't use items in the observatory. Huh. And all of a sudden, the light got darker because I had to re-record the recording with OBS. I actually still have the original um, video recording, so I can... To do. Where is that? I think it's and this one here. Uh, properties. Yeah. Okay, this is the issue that I ha Sometimes when I record things with Hopage, it has this weird glitch. Oh, I just used Mob Moblum or whatever so I could run faster. You would think that I would just right. run past all the enemies. That would be the smart thing to do. Unfortunately for me, I is not that. Yeah. Anyways, um... So, it's like... Do frame rate 0 0.10 frames a second. Is what's in recorded in the metadata. It should say 29 point, like, 70 or something frames per second, but no. And whenever it does that, whenever it has that weird frame rate thing, uh, yeah, that's, that's when, that's when, um, Freaking like that. That's that's when editing programs kind of look at the video and go, "I don't know what to do with this." Right. It'll freeze frame at it'll, like it'll freeze frame at certain points in the one editor. Like it'll get up to a certain frame and then it just freeze frames at that specific frame for the rest of the video. Or, if I put it in the other editor, it'll stretch the video out in a really weird way. And it won't be synced up with the audio. Huh. The only ways I know to fix this is to either upload the video to our YouTube channel as like, an, as like a private video and then download it again. Which takes a while because YouTube has to process the fucking thing. And there's also YouTube compression algorithms, 
so... Which will make the video look worse. I can put it in the one editor that stretches it out, but it's not like a consistent stretch. It's like, from this timestamp to this timestamp, it's stretched out by this much. And then from this timestamp to this timestamp, it's stretched out more or it's stretched out less. And then I have to, like, keep doing it chunk by chunk and try to get it synced up with the audio, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> or I can just... Yeah re-record the recording with OBS, which makes the video darker for some reason. Okay, now this is hilarious. He's like, he's gone. I, I shoved him all over the edge and he's gone again. And then, um... But then when I... When I went up there, I could see him. What the hell? Like, I can hear him walking around. I, I think I missed the part where I, where I could see him because YouTube alerts. Like, you got a comment on video. And it came up right as I could see him, like, underneath. So I was like, I, I was like... I knocked him off, I went down there, he's gone. Then I see him roaming around down there, and I jump down, and he's gone again. Wow. So like, I... The Phantom Beast, everyone! <laughs> you don't have a partner to keep you safe. Take that! This is what you get for not abiding by the buddy system, buddy. Oh, wait, he has a buddy. Oh, he's got a friend, guy. He's got a buddy. <laughs> and I have just been chained. Oh, no. They're like, how do you like it, Aaron? How do you like being chained, Aaron? Nope. I'll chain you before you chain me, thank you. <laughs> and if you don't yank the meat out of them, then you can get, like, shade stones, black droplets, light stones, white droplets out of these guys. Well, these guys specifically, shade stones and black droplets. Out of the, uh, light variants, you'll get the other ones. Obviously. Get over here! Man, Scorpion makes this look so easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Black droplet, I found one at last. I don't... Here we go again, even, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know why I went out here to pick a fight with these guys. I'll be perfectly honest, at this point I'm just scratching my head being like, What are you doing past me? Why are you doing this? I guess we're doing this now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yoink. Got that dripping flesh. Can't get enough of that dripping flesh. Oh, and now I found another black triplet. You don't do as much damage to me as you used to, little guy. Now that I got armor... My armor makes me take less damage. And my life force band lets me heal the little bit of damage that I took. Nice. Nice. Dong. Ding dong.
Ding dong, the beast is dead. <laughs> that bell you hear, that comes from the 13th Tower, Centrum. The one that the military people have been trying to access but can't. Hmm. Poke, poke. Poke, poke. Poke, 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 poke. I feel like I'm a Pokemon using one of those moves that hits two to five times. Yeah. It's like, uh, two hits? Oh, come on. What, another two hits? Oh, I want five hits, damn it. Pulsating flesh. Do, 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 do. It's like, oh, just you? Then I'm gonna kick your ass! Speaking of your ass, you're. Just... Well, yeah. You don't got any legs, wing boy. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It's ass kicking time! Stamina, chain attack boost, health restored, dripping flesh, luminous stone. Lots of messages. Can't get enough of that luminous stone. And then I take this one. I could go towards either the Dawn or Dusk Master first. It seems like most people usually go for the Dusk Master first, so I chose to do something different. Oh, uh, okay. But first, I chose to pick a fight with these beasts for some reason. Yeah, for some reason, it's like, I guess I'll fight you. I think any time the chain comes back to you, it interrupts your combo. Huh. Oh. I'm sorry, that tickled. My life force band is almost completely healed that. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh, the, the... Then there was some poison damage. Um... The poison was taking life faster than the life force band could heal it, but not by much, and then I then I got over the poison. Thanks to the combination of my chaos robe and life force band, I got chained. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you guys could get back up there once I chained your wings. I guess it's because you were being hit or something. I have no idea. <laughs> Pulsating flesh. You will fall, Mr. Guy. Hey, I wasn't done pulling your chain. Heh, <laughs> Shadestone. Oh, yeah, that's why I was fighting them. Get shade stones and Luminous Stones. That's why I was doing that. I was like, eh, I'll go for the... I'll go for the light one, Foist. One of those water Go into the light! Yes, go into the light! <laughs> I equipified my sword because it has more defense. Although, more maneuverability would actually be... would actually be kind of preferable for this boss, I would think. 
What's the deal with the bosses in these two towers? Well, Mark, you're about to find out. Kind of rhymes when you say it like that. <laughs> He's on the wall. Juicing! It's juicy time! <clears throat> oh, here I was, minding my own business, sitting on my wall. And you have to come in here. You can block his attacks with, well, blocking. If you pull the chain, which I was trying to do, you can interrupt his attacks. And when he's had enough of your shit, he's like, off to the dust tower with ya. Huh. So you're getting teleported between two boss fights? Ah, uh, no spoilers. I've already picked. I think I've already picked up everything that's in these rooms in between. But I'm just checking. <laughs> and hello to you there, Missy. I'll on the wall, juicing. Look. The wall between the towers has collapsed. Oh my, it's two for the price of one! So, you can use the light stones. They have their flesh protected by a shield. To break it, you need to use either the light stones, throw their swords at each other, or, you can have them hit each other with their own attacks. His lasers oh, so we've or her black holes can hit each other. So it's like a twin rova. Is it twin rova yeah. or twin rosa? I can't... Twin rova. Yeah, it's like a twin rova situation. Yeah. I did not intend to get him hit by her black holes. I didn't even notice it happened. However, I did intend for her to get hit by her twin brother's laser in her back. And this is... Hey, sis! <laughs> and this is what the, uh... thing was talking about and them saying that dark and light in fighting destruction, they they can hurt each other. Uh, two siblings brought together for the first time in years. <laughs> to kill each other, or to help me kill them. To kill each other, basically. Anyways, now that I'm done explaining the mechanics of this boss fight, uh, if you if you hit them with their own swords, by the way, you'll power them up. Oh gosh! So be careful of that. Now I want to explain the boss lyrics. When I'm fighting bosses, you'll notice that you'll hear singing in Latin in the background, and whenever I fought any of the male bosses, it was male singing in the background, and the female bosses, it was females. It's actually just one audio track that goes... that, like, had its partitioned off. Or petitioned off, or whatever. And in this one, you hear both ma male and female choir doing a duet. Um, I'll read you the translated version. Wood, flame, earth, water, gold, darkness, light, pleasure, winds, rage, fear, sadness. And that repeats. And then... And then, sweet and glorious it is to die for one's country. Not for me, not for you, but for the future. Huh. And that gets repeated. And then that... You know, um... I'm going to be really interested to see how this ends, because usually it ends with a cinematic of you pulling out the flesh. But there's two of these things! Yeah. Oh, they also have moves where they can fill the chain with, like, light or darkness. And while you're trying to pull on them. So, anyways. This, by the way, you would not be able to sing these translated lyrics with the with the way this is with the way this song is sung in Latin it just wouldn't it wouldn't match the tempo right 
Um, the untranslated lyrics here are Arbor. Oh! Uh, Arbor, which is where we get Arbor Day from. Flama, Terra, Aqua. Ar. Arun? I'm not sure how to pronounce hmm. that. Tenebrae Lux. Del. Delecti. Oh. Ventus. Ira. Mitas. Tre I can't even pronounce half this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you Shoot. if you wanted to actually try to sing this in English, you would have to change some of these lyrics. What I find weird with the first verse is that is the order of the elements. They put flame right after wood in between earth. The order that you visit the towers in is wood, earth, flame, water, metal. But this has wood, flame, earth, water, and then gold, which is to symbolize huh. metal. Which makes me wonder if the game originally had a different intended uh, tower order. Alright, your brother's down. Now time for you, sister! I think the cinematic changes depending on which one you pull it out from last. Basically, if I had pulled it out of him on the left there first, then you would have seen the cinematic of me ripping it out of him, and then she would be coming up behind my back. You know what I mean? I was wondering what the... Yeah, I was wondering what was going to happen. <laughs> I just like how they wobble towards the flesh, like, No! We need that to live, not our meaty onions! <laughs> no. Oh. Damn you, juicer! Hmm, <laughs> letting the balls hang down low, eh? Oh, God. <laughs> the master has been defeated since he changed his restored power. He just takes them and hangs them on the mirror in his car. <laughs> Not that he has a car. Oh, but, yeah, um... The, the towers have been connected. I can go out either door, but you notice these other doors over here that are covered oh. up by the light and darkness. I can't go into them now, but those lead to the centrum. Huh. By the way, after this, I will be doing a solo tower tour where I go through all of the towers and I aim for all of the neat rewards and I will be aiming for to max out all of my weapons. Right. And then after that it'll be the final boss will be its own episode. Oh. Because the final boss fight is long and there's a bunch of cinematics so, we're actually going to record that on a normal recording day? Yes. Okay, cool. No more glitching bullshit. I think the glitch can still happen when trying to enter Centrum. Oh. But, once you get in there, it's fine. Mavda, I have brought back two pieces of Master Flesh. Two pieces, no less? That's what I said. Yes. So that makes twelve. Hmm, I wonder. Now, normally we end after... Aaron? Flesh. Where's the flesh? I was hoping if she would I have that last it, thing translated by the time I got back. She did not. Mama... Oh, come on, Elena! Master... Flesh... N no D don't Huh? Yeah, normally we would end these episodes after she's eaten the flesh and had her little dreams. 
but this one will go on for a little bit longer because there's some important story stuff that Mark needs to see after the fact. Nom 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 Oh! Oh, it's so juicy! Nom 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 Juiced it myself! I got you, baby. Oh! Let us begin. I think he literally just chanted the same thing. This is strange. Hey, what are you doing? Equilibrium has been lost. It's become unbalanced. This won't hold. This can't be. If we don't do something, we have to do something. A cursed tribe of Vestra. What's going on? Do something! If this should fail, if this should fail, what would happen then? An incomplete master will run amok. We can't let that happen. We cannot allow it. Hi, horsey. Yeah, I think he was chanting the same thing that they sing in the song. The huh. elements. Whose child is that? Darling? Darling! We will always be together. Our children's lives will be linked. Why? Because! How foolish is this creature called man? What will happen to me? Something's gonna happen. <gasps> so yeah, that scene was of that one woman who lost her child trying to f be fused with her husband to create the ultimate master. But Fusion, huh? But the experiment failed because she was pregnant and she didn't realize it. Huh. Where's Elena? Like, she didn't even know she was already pregnant with another child and that made them lose equilibrium. Whoopsie. And he's like, wait, no birdies? Well, surely there'll be something in the basement. And nope. Nothing here. Sorry, friend. Try next time on Check the Basement! So dark. Oh, it doesn't look quite this dark in the video editor. Elena. You're juicing. Elena. Why are you getting all juicy? <gasps> Push. There was no subtitle there, but she whispered sorry. You look like a creepy pasta, Elena. Uh, but why? Uh, the curse has it not been lifted? And I present to you, the final boss. Yes, that explains why she can't translate nothing. 
can't translate anything, Mark. I use proper grammar now. <laughs> In some endings, you would actually fight her on top, on top of the, uh, roof there. But, my affinity is too high, so she flies over to Centrum. <laughs> Mavda, what the fuck?! Well... To be fair, what she said was true from a certain point of view. As you'll see in the ending. Mavda, you've got some splaining to do! Mavda, what the fuck? And so we find ourselves here. Trust in the bond you share with Elena, in the power of the Arachlis chain, and in yourself. And fight to the very end. We must go. But the day may be at hand when my tribe will be free from the sins of the past. You've got some flesh going spare? I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll pay you this. You much. want to kill what the moon? <laughs> it's like, it's uh, that'd be so great. That, that, that's so great. You've it's like, heard the bell like the that toes here, have you not? Well, that's the bell of the tower known as Centrum. In five centuries, it has tolled at the same time each day. That's a fine feat of engineering, wouldn't you agree? Was there something else? You Anyways, you were saying. Choose but yeah, like to just choose just be like to forge. just be like uh yeah the time Was of destiny has you arrived. Need? You yeah, must you face your final today. challenge. So, uh, anything in my store? This much. <laughs> that will cost. That will cost you this much. 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 That will... That will... That will... That will... That will... That will... Was there something else you wanted? Farewell for now. And at this point I'm like... Uh... Well, guess you don't need to get any more flesh. But... There's flesh. I think at this point I can still re-enter any tower, and remember, if you come back with a certain amount of flesh on hand, worth certain amounts of liats, Mavda will give you special rewards. Right. Now is the best time to do it, because you don't have to worry about time limits. Yeah. Um, so that's why the next tower tours, which will be just me on my own, is uh, uh, the, that's why I'm going for all the meat rewards. <sighs> Although a lot I of assume we're a lot of the meat rewards are things that you, you give to Elena as gifts, so I can only give them to her in New Game Plus. <laughs> Select the item you want to be repaired. Was there something else you wanted? What I was like, uh, I need to, to repair me? my leather lining, but I don't have enough Leots. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I got two bulwark bands and two spur bands, eh? Spur band I can sell for 120, and a bulwark band I can sell for 80. And I only need 200. Hmm. Hmm. Was there something else you wanted? Well then, select the item you want to be repaired. 
I want that you to repair you this thing. Seems that went well. Was there something else you want? Farewell for- Yes, it went well. You know, I could honestly picture her having a uh, fortune teller Baba's voice from Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. Or rather, I could picture fortune teller Baba from Dragon Ball having her voice. <laughs> yeah, that also works. <laughs> Anyways, next time, the last tower tour, and then after that, Centrum, which is uh, just a long stair climb up in a boss fight. Uh, See, so yeah, and uh, thanks to Shadow Justin, our member dude. Oh, okay. Well, see you guys next time. Shadow Justin! <laughs>